Hello everybody, I hope that you're doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going over the most important levels to be trading on Bitcoin, Ethereum and Litecoin. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video uh, on a day which is read across the whole of the markets apart from LINK and the volatility index. Very nice indeed. Uh, so yeah, we've seen a lot of red today. Uh, I have loved trading it. Okay, so let's start with Bitcoin. Okay, so Bitcoin, uh, oh, the, the leading, uh, you know, as we all know, have been known this now for many, many months. Litecoin being the leading indicator. And if we just flip across to Litecoin, we obviously saw that drop down. Okay, that heavy drop down on Litecoin prior to the Bitcoin move down here. So we had the leading heads up. I was originally uh, last night wanting to get in a short on Bitcoin a little bit higher up. But as soon as I saw the drop on Litecoin, shortly after I entered a short on Bitcoin. So I was short last night on Bitcoin. Woke up this morning and obviously it had dropped while I was sleeping overnight. Very nice indeed to wake up to that. Uh, I actually then took Profits on my short, closed out my short, did not enter a long, okay, but I was in no position for a few hours, and then I came back into my short, okay, so then what are we looking at here? Wait, really, what I'm looking down in towards for the target being uh, 9,320, down to around 9,250, that sort of region from this low to the monthly, as a sort of medium-term target, this could take 48 hours, okay, it's not like, you know, we have to remember that we're last two days in a row now pretty harsh to the downside so you are likely to see likely not all guarantee likely to see a little bit of a relief before another step down okay so uh, yeah on the mid I'm looking for around that monthly obviously bottom of our triangle uh, coming in here around 9,000 itself 9,080 if memory serves me well uh, obviously then we lose that we're looking down towards 8,800 and lower okay uh, on the flip side, if you are bullish at this moment in time, if you're in a long position, fair enough. Uh, what the levels I'd be really looking up to, you have to be saying right now, 9,800, 9,700 are uh, intermediate resistance point. Uh, if you make it up to back up to the top of the channel, around 10,100, 10,100, I think is a really decisive level. Um, you know, people will be very scared, I imagine, at this point, thinking that we are definitely going down. You know how quickly uh, this market changes sentiments. You know, they go from extremely bullish, extremely bearish, extremely bullish, and now everyone will be extremely bearish bearish again um i know i say that while in a short obviously but um I'm not extremely bearish. Overall, I'm still 50-50. It's just I'm in a short for a short-term target. And if we do, in fact, end up moving up here, then, you know, I'll trade it to level-to-level -level sort of thing. I'm just day trading this, really, not in any sort of, you know, mid-term, which I refer to a few weeks plus uh, position right now. Okay, I'm waiting for a break, and I'm just day trading it since. Obviously, I'm happy to hold positions 24, 48 hours, absolutely, but uh, mainly just day trading it. It's a lot more enjoyable. And when we come over to uh, when we come over to Litecoin and review this, I think this is actually, um, you know, there was some people were questioning about why is Lite, why did Litecoin drop like this? Okay, I had uh, several questions of asking the same, and actually, it's traded really technically perfect. It's really, really, really technically well. Okay, so what we can see here, obviously, moving down. Okay, so as you're moving down, lower, lo lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, you're held down by a very strong trend line. Okay, and where do you come down to? You're basically going from a monthly resistance. Okay, so this is our really, really big floor of the whole move monthly resistance this is a very big level okay so you come up to monthly resistance you get rejected here come down for a series of lower highs and lower lows series of that onto weekly support so you're literally going from monthly resistance down to weekly support what do you do from there fib from low from sorry fib from high to low you're coming up for a three two dead cat bounce and what do you get in here as well okay you take out the high of this highs these highs for a swing failure pattern onto the 382 Fibonacci, okay, you then get a few days of lower, <laughs> now you go in back into bearish market structure with your lower highs, lower lows, and you eventually fall off of a cliff, okay, very big kind of cliff that you fell off, um, you know, one could one would say yeah you wouldn't imagine the extent of this drop to be so fast that's the only thing you wouldn't have one would have expected a drop but to the extent it drops probably not if i'm honest okay i was not expecting the uh drop of this size but a drop would have been you, you know your preferred trade you'd have been short on this but um yeah to this extent <laughs> probably not but um anyway what you can see if you zoom out a little bit, okay, what you see if you zoom out, you did in fact get to the one-to-one, -one, okay, so you're looking for a one-to-one, -one, a measured move of this move here, which is also the 1.414 Fibonacci, if you're going from low to high here, so you've got a, like a Fib confluence there, so you do find in the end support, okay, but with a very high or a long lower wick here of about 7%, so you do buy up from here, get back above the monthly, and now just have gone basically sideways today, uh, not much movement if you see here, 0.15% on the day, so, so not a lot really at all, um, and that's because you've seen a very big move yesterday okay things just don't go continuously moving uh, up and down you, do, you get areas of consolidation so that's uh yeah a technically very well very well on litecoin 
And we look, when we look at uh, Ethereum itself as well, Ethereum also, uh, you, you can't really get much perfect than a bounce off of the 6.5 Fibonacci, can you? So that, that's literally a bounce to the exact uh, dollar, pretty much. Literally, it's the exact dollar and a bounce, okay? Um, but yeah, I, I think... Uh, I don't trade the USD pair, by the way, but this is a really important level you see here. You've obviously seen an area of prior support, 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 flipped resistance. Uh, one bulls would want to hold this golden pocket as support down to the 786, okay? Because you do have this old trend line coming in here. So really important supports on Ethereum. We're, we're going to say uh, $187, okay? $187, that's $188 down to $178, okay? This sort of region here uh, from the golden pocket to the 786 is, is extremely important support. OK, uh, obviously lower down the monthly is one seven two dollars. Uh, you, you start coming down to one seven two, though, I, I would expect lower prices. But in the medium term, one would be looking at this as an area of support. But it's very, very dependent on Bitcoin. It's very dependent on Bitcoin, how that USD pair moves, because the Bitcoin pair is not looking great. OK, so it's going to rely on Bitcoin. And that's uh, just over the over the coming hours slash days. Is this going to get a, a little bit of a, of a move up to the top of this channel? Or are we, in fact, going to get a uh, more like this going on? And then you come over to very big and important support levels. Um, so, yeah, once again, I am trading this level to level. I am. What I mean by that is I'm day trading it to support resistance, support resistance. Just very simple trading. And like I say, you really, really do not need to make these things difficult. <laughs> you know, uh, people love to confuse uh, trading but it's it's simple things make money and that's the at the end of the day i'm not here to uh confuse <laughs> just explain what i'm doing and it's really not difficult okay what we can see this was an example that i told to the group today like what do you see here on eos okay you know you could confuse this with i don't know what you want to put on the chart but um very simply, what you've done here, if you went from high to low in a falling wedge, okay, falling wedge, perfect, one, two, three, four, five, okay, F break up out of the falling wedge in a emphatic manner, e.g., e e you, you move up quickly, that's exactly what you want to see, okay, fib from high to low, you come up to the 382 of the uh, of the pool from high to low, okay, so you hit the 382 resistance, and today you've come down to monthly in 618, I mean, it's just so simple, uh, but but yet yeah, great, but really effective, isn't it? Like I, I really am a firm believer. You don't need to make things difficult in trading. It's um, you know obviously you don't you don't want to trade with the market. If if everybody's looking at the same thing on on tr tr trading, do not follow the market. You, you never you're never gonna probably win if you follow the herd. Do your own analysis. Do your own ideas. Absolutely. But um, you know you just have to you have to think. Um, so yeah. That, yeah, it's really, really nice, to be honest. And then the stock market, really red today. So that was uh, pretty nice in general. Okay, I'm trading individual stocks, not not, not the indexes. But uh, yeah, we've seen some great moves. Volatility index in particular. And obviously, shop, which I, I, I think a lot of people like shop at the moment because it's highly volatile. Uh, you know, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. Obviously, you got, you know, my, my favorites right now to be trading are, it are they are Twitter, Intel, shop, um, the volatility index i really like i really love trading that i always have um but they're just like my my favorites obviously we can see microsoft has had some big moves uh, netflix as well with some big moves to the downsides it's just like real big action packed across the board you, we're not used well, i'm not you know it's not it's not often that we see such great volatility across the markets it's it is really really enjoyable uh if you love trading then you love these type of movements and i love trading so uh it's very nice to see very action packed um can't take your eyes off it sort of thing so yeah what i'm expecting is is, is maybe we tighten up okay we might not necessarily see this drop down, sorry, might not necessarily see this drop down again, but, uh, you know, in fact, if we end up moving sideways a little bit more, that time will tell. Uh, here, we I'll um, move back up to the top of this triangle. Uh, when the break comes, one is expecting it to be... Uh quite explosive so i'm expect i am I'm, I'm looking forward to the break uh unless it just moves sideways and that, that'll be a bit of a shame but possible um so yeah i've, I've went over my most, most important levels obviously i am currently in the short on bitcoin but i will uh be keeping my eye very much on the chart for if we start to get some follow through on a bounce here um just because yeah i've been i've been going in and out in and out of shorts all day so um yeah, we'll have to see if we get some follow through here. Obviously, we've got some like little bear bullish divergences going on. So I'm aware that there could be a bounce, but uh, still in the short until I see a reason to close it, basically. Um, so, yeah, maybe Litecoin will give us a heads up and see which way this this little uh, channel that we got going on breaks. Uh, so, yeah, thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Obviously, I've uh, not done a video for quite a while. I've been away in Madrid on holiday, uh, holiday slash business, I guess. So when I go when I go away, when I go away for business or whatever, I always mix business with pleasure. That's the way to live life. Live a, li live a happy life and uh, always, always positive and happy. So I love it. Come back to this. What more could I want?
blessed. Thank you everybody so much. Honestly, have a great day. Enjoy trading this. It's absolutely perfect if we're honest. Look at Link Go. Just lovely, lovely, lovely. Thank you everybody so much. And um, yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. All right. Cheers. Thanks. Good night or good morning, wherever you are in the world. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>